what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new jillian here today we are in the car so you know that means that we are going thrifting i have been doing a ton of trends videos lately so i'm really dialed in on exactly what i am looking for however if special pieces come across my path i'm definitely going to pick them up i obviously don't need anything but you know the fun of thrifting is coming across those special unique pieces that you don't necessarily need they just add interest to your wardrobe so i'm just curious i may not come out with anything but if i come across anything cool in the thrift store um then i will show you guys even if i'm not taking it home so i'm at a goodwill that i haven't been um probably in a few weeks so I'm kind of excited to see what they have in here. This is normally the Goodwill that does the whole Halloween setup, but they are not doing it this year. I did call and ask, which is a bummer because this is the time I used to find my best colorful leather pieces. Like all of my great colorful leather that I thrifted in store were around this time. So it's unfortunate they're not doing it this year, but we can still see what they have to offer. So let's go. So I'm in the men's section and I found two blazers. I found this one, which is a brown velvet blazer, but this is actually the brand Seven for All Mankind. Really great brand. I also found this 100% cashmere navy blazer. And I really like that. It's great quality. So I'm gonna get that also. Um, I tried them both on, so they're really good. I have not tried on the sweaters yet. I'm gonna run through the rest of the blazers and then I'm gonna go to women's blouses. Okay, so I also found it 
and forest green 100% cashmere as well so i'm gonna get that one it is 25% off it's a little pricey it's $19.99 but considering it's 100% cashmere i'm trying to check the blue one too the blue one is only $10.99 which is crazy but um yeah so the green one will be 25% off so i think that's a great deal considering it's cashmere and then i found it also in a size up that my husband can actually fit so we'll be twinning so i'm gonna get it for him too okay look at i also found this leather blazer i have to try it on oh wait a minute i think this is the same brand okay we'll look at that in a second but i'm gonna try this on this is so old i want to say this is probably 70s oh it fits it fits okay i'm in trouble now <laughs> i literally have one two three four five six blazers one of which is for my husband so i technically only have five but this is like the jackpot literally because let me see this was 10.99 so i have cashmere blazers in all the fall colors these are going to be so great throw them on with a hoodie and sweats jeans um, the material makes it so that it can be really casual or dressed up and then this leather blazer which i'm still contemplating if i need that because you guys know i do have chocolate brown but that's a different kind of brown so i don't know and then the velvet seven for all mankind blazer which I think I'm going to put the seven for all mankind blazer back because this kind of serves the same purpose. And then if I needed a dark around, I have my leather one. So we're weaning it down now. I'm going to continue on the rest of the row because there's just a few more blazers and some sweaters and then we'll head over to blouses. Look at this really cute 100% silk Victoria's Secret. I think that my daughter would really like that. So I'm going to get that for her. And then look at this. I love this print. I wish this was in my size. I would totally get it. My grandmother used to have a lot of stuff like this. Um, these are really cute. They can be converted into really cute tops. So I might hang on to this to see if I can thrift flip it. Oh my gosh, you guys. These shoes are giving Alessandra Rich. Very much so. Alright, we're going to head over to men's button downs. So I can see if I can find any silk shirts and then women's blouses. Hopefully my air conditioner is not too loud, but whoo, I got, I spent like a hundred dollars and I got so many things. I got all the cashmere blazers. I mean, how could I not? And they were like $14.99 and $10.99 for cashmere. Great condition. I got one of the cardigans, the striped one, and I got a couple things that I didn't show you guys because I kind of saw it at the last minute when I was coming out. So obviously I'll show you guys what I got later, but I'm thinking I want to stop at one more thrift store while my thrift luck is good because I feel like when your thrift luck, thrift luck is good, you have to keep it going. So let's go to one more place. We're gonna go to a Salvation Army, which I haven't been to in a while. So let's go. Okay, so we are back from the thrift store. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and I'm going to flip you around to the mirror so I can show you the base of like what I will be trying on most things with. So this is the base outfit that I'm going to be using to try on everything. I have a plain white t-shirt from Zara that is tucked into these jeans from Zara. I really like the Attico jeans that have the big pockets at the bottom, but I really don't wanna pay that much money 
for them. So I am testing the trend out with these. This is my first time getting Zara jeans and the denim seems like it's pretty good quality. These are a little bit big, so I probably should have sized down a little bit, but it's fine. I chose this because I feel like trying on blazers, the best way to see them would be like with a plain outfit like this, like white t-shirt and jeans. So the stack of clothes is right here. We're gonna get started. So I definitely would not <laughs> wear this sweater with these jeans, but I thought this cardigan was so cute. It does have some weight to it. It feels like it's really good quality and you can definitely button it up if you want. But it feels like it's made out of some type of mohair. Um, it might not be. I can't really read the label because it's in a different language, but it feels like it's good quality. So I thought I would snag this and pick this up. I'd probably be more likely to wear something like this with um, maybe a different type of jean or a different cut. I'm not quite sure. The sleeves are a little bit short, but I don't really mind it because I love to wear bracelets but they're not, you know, too bad. I just thought overall it was great quality and it's comfortable and it's a stretchy material, so there we go. I don't know if, let me turn around. I'm gonna go towards a light so you can kind of see. It's like this nice braided material right here and then it's like fuzzy right here. It's not itchy at all, but it does feel like really good quality, so yeah, that's that. The next piece that I could not resist is this Wilson's leather blazer it does actually button so that's good and i like the shade of brown it's like a toffee caramel colored brown and i just can't resist um a good blazer so i had to get this one i am going to try to condition the leather a little bit because it feels like it could be drying out maybe just a little but we'll see i'll test it out on a spot first but Overall, I thought this was a really good deal. It was $14.49, and $14.49 for a leather blazer, you really can't beat that. And I believe this is 70s Wilson's leather, the shape, the tag, and everything. So this is the second piece. Okay, so we are now getting into all the cashmere blazers that I bought. Hopefully you can see the difference. This one is more of like a chocolate brown. I just could not resist. Again, this one does button, so it's really good. I just love the fact that this is 100% cashmere. It's so soft, it's so comfortable. And it reminds me a lot of my tan one that I thrifted like a week ago. I can definitely see myself wearing this one a lot during the fall winter season. So yeah, I mean, I would definitely wear it with something like this. I'd probably just add a boot to jazz it up a little bit. And you know, I don't know. Like I, I'm really trying to figure out how I would style these pants because they're a little bit wider with the pockets and everything. Hold on, I think it's getting a little blurry, yeah. Um, I would probably be more likely to style this with a crop jacket, but this also doesn't look bad to me either. I just have to work on the styling a little bit, maybe by switching the top. Because although it might look fine to a lot of you guys, it does definitely need something. Like it's missing something. This is the navy. As I've said before, I have been thrifting a lot of navy. I never really had a lot of it in my closet before, but I am loving it. So this one is just like the exact same type of fit as the brown one. And I'm gonna move on to the green one. And this is the olive green one that I was able to find a matching one for my husband so we could be twinsies the other one is a little bit bigger so it will fit him but i really love this color i think it's so fall this is not doing it justice because right now it just looks like a black or darkish gray it's not really showing the true olive green color that it actually is but <sighs> love this one a lot can't wait to style it up and now we're gonna be on to the next item. This is the silk top in that tan mustard color. Love it, it's not super oversized, but it is loose enough for me to button it up, tuck it in and get a nice blousey fit. So I do really like this and I think it'll be a nice one to add to my silk blouse collection. Obviously stay tuned to Instagram if you wanna see things fully, fully styled up. But yes, this is the silk blouse. I also spotted this on the way out. You guys didn't even see, but it has these silver studded details here and here and like a couple different places around, mainly the pockets and the shoulders, I believe. But I got this because this would be styled as a dress for me. Um, it is short on the side, but I would wear bike shorts underneath it and wear it with like some slouchy boots or cowboy boots. And I just think this would be so cute. I love acid wash and the denim and the material is so thick. So I'm really, really loving this. It's giving Isabel Marat and we all know I live for Isabel Marat. 
I have two more dresses that I'm gonna try on for you guys and then we can wrap up this little haul. I wouldn't typically wear a white t-shirt under something like this, but I did get this. I will likely end up just wearing this as a nightgown. I did get this just, if anything, just to like sleep in because I thought it was really cute. Last but not least is this little one. Um, this is 100% silk actually, and I definitely would wear this out. I just wear a really pretty bralette that matches one of the colors in here. It is like staticky right now, so it's like clinging to everything. But yeah, I just think this detail is so pretty. So I am very happy to now have this as an option. I can definitely tuck it in also and wear it with jeans. That is my haul. That is everything that I got today. Tell me down in the comments your favorite piece, and I will see you guys in my next one. I love you so much. Bye.